Hello everyone. In today's lecture, I will discuss briefly about different characteristics of sewage like physical, chemical and biological characteristics. So first is physical characteristics. Physical examination of sewage is carried out in order to determine its physical characteristics. This includes different tastes. Already I had mentioned in previous class. So today I will discuss one by one briefly. So first one is suspended solid. Sewage consists of a large number of suspended solids. But generally sewage is 99.9% .9 water and only 0.01% suspended solids. Solids present in sewage may be in any of the four forms like suspended solids, dissolved solids, collided solids and settleable solids. Suspended solids are those solids which remain floating in sewage. The number two turbidity. Sewage is generally very turbid in nature. The turbidity is due to the presence of different suspended solids or suspended matters. The turbidity of sewage is determined by Jackson's turbidity meter. Then sewage is normally turbid resembling dirty dishwater or wastewater from baths having other floating matter like fecal matter, pieces of paper, cigarette ends, matchsticks, then vegetable debris, fruit skins, soaps, etc. The turbidity increases as sewage becomes stronger. Then number three, color. If the sewage is fresh, it basically looks yellowish, gray or light brown. If the sewage is septic, it looks dark or black or dark brown. Color can be tested by tintometer using platinum cobalt scale. So the color of sewage can normally be detected by the naked eye also and it indicates the freshness of sewage. Then number 4, odor or smell. Fresh sewage is practically odorless. But sewage has a very foul smelling characteristics. From the odor, it can be determined the sewage is fresh or septic. But however, in 3 to 4 hours, it becomes stale with all oxygen present in sewage being practically exerted. Then number 5, temperature. The temperature of sewage is little bit higher than the temperature of water supplied or normal water. The biological activity of bacteria to decompose sewage depends on the temperature of sewage. So the temperature has an effect on the biological activity of bacteria present in sewage and it also affects the solubility of gases in sewage. So the temperature also affects the viscosity of sewage which in turn affects the sedimentation process in its treatment. So when the temperature is more the dissolved oxygen content that means DO or dissolved oxygen of sewage gets reduced. So these are the basic characteristics of physical characteristics. Now bit B chemical characteristics. Chemical analysis is therefore carried out on sewage in order to determine its different chemical characteristics. It includes taste for determining dissolved oxygen, BOD, then uh, pH, chloride content, nitrogen content then uh, sulfates or sulfides present then uh, presence of fats grease oils so these are some tests which we we will 
continue in the laboratory to find out or to know the different chemical characteristics of sewage among those we discuss here some characteristics so first one dissolved oxygen or do dissolved oxygen is the amount of oxygen which is present in the state of dissolved condition in water sewage consists of large number of or large amount of organic matter which require oxygen for decomposition generally in sewage the amount of dissolved oxygen is almost zero so oxygen is required for the mainly for decomposition of organic matter which are present within the sewage so do tests are performed during sewage disposal treatment process so the determination of do or dissolved oxygen present in sewage is very very important the number 2 biochemical oxygen demand or bod biochemical oxygen demand is the quantity of oxygen required by bacteria for the biological decomposition of sewage under aerobic condition that means in the presence of oxygen bod is otherwise called as strength of sewage before disposal of sewage in river or sea water the bod strength of sewage has to be reduced to protect aquatic or marine life so the organic matter in fact is of two types that means that which is biologically oxidized and is called biologically active or biologically degradable and second one that which cannot be oxidized biologically and is called biologically inactive then number 3 chemical oxygen demand or cod so chemical oxygen demand is the amount of oxygen required for the chemical decomposition of organic matter in sewage so particularly to decompose the chemical matter which are present in the sewage oxygen is required or that much of oxygen required that is called cod it is the oxygen amount required for oxidation of organic matter the cod of a raw water or a waste water is therefore determined by performing a laboratory test on the given water with a strong oxidant like dichromate solution and the theoretical computations of cod are only performed on water solutions prepared with the known amounts of specific organic compounds in laboratory situations to compare the theoretical and the test results and to establish the limitations of the test procedure then number 4 nitrogen compounds nitrogen is present in each and every living organism sewage consists of large amount of nitrogenous compound in the form of free ammonia nitrites nitrates or organic nitrogen so the presence of nitrogen in sewage indicates the presence of organic matter then when the sewage is stale it produces free ammonia then when the sewage is undergoing decomposition or in the process of decomposition it produces nitrites after complete decomposition nitrates are formed which are stable in nature the next ph the ph of fresh sewage is above 7 alkaline in nature after decomposition the ph reduces to 5 or 6 the value of ph reduces to 5 or 6 which is basically in acidic in nature the ph value of sewage indicates the negative of hydrogen ion 
concentration present in sewage. The pH value can be measured quickly and automatically with the help of a potentiometer. Then last one, bit C, this is biological characteristics which we will discuss in next lecture. Thank you.